I'm back now, ma! What you think I rap for? Hey, everybody! Wicked Rap Tanner right here, the internet's busiest music nerd, messing up his camera, messing up his camera mojo, and it's time for a review of the new Wiki mixtape, Little Me. Wiki is a New York rapper known for his participation in the East Coast experimental hip hop outfit. Rat King. I was kind of indifferent to their debut commercial EP, but then that potential I saw there though was capitalized on with their full length debut record, So It Goes, an album that I thought brought a refreshing, futuristic approach to just the grimy urban jungle of New York hip hop. But then the group came through with this 700 fill, like bit torrent curated record that I thought was just really underwhelming and didn't really sound all that well put together or even finished. Just really cluttered and unorganized and I'm not really sure what the group was doing with this release and I'm even more perplexed by this sudden solo move by group member Wiki, as he has dropped a new mixtape here with over an hour of material, which is topped off with 47 minutes of spiritual guidance from clothing designer Aaron Bondaroff right at the very end of the record. And he actually makes some pretty interesting points about fashion, competition, art, race. His build and destroy ethos at one point during the conversation is really interesting. It seems like he really could have gone on forever saying a lot of the stuff that he said. And Wiki's music on this project is very similar in tone and philosophy. <laughs> Given that comparison, even though we do have an hour of music on this project, it's not an incredibly well-groomed hour of music. Which, in a way, is okay because it captures the chaos of Wiki's mind and the city in which he lives. But I'm sure you will find some comfort in knowing that the same level of rap expertise that Wiki has shown on previous Rat King releases is also shown on this new project over here. Not only that, but a lot of the instrumentals on this thing sound like they could have fit snugly into the next Rat King album. So we're not talking about a huge change of pace or style on this thing. There are even appearances from Hack and Sporting Life too on this thing. So the gang's all here. In their best moments, the tracks on this LP are pointed, they're topical, and they focus on a single subject matter, like living with my moms, which is a hilarious topic for a rap song and actually pretty clever and kind of confessional for Wiki too. It's interesting to see him taking something that's just so average and just something that is so outside of the scope of most rap music and just take a humorous approach to it. There's the song Club Shit, which gives us this banger beat and lyrically a bunch of late night club debauchery. The song Three Stories gives us kind of a bunch of urban apartment building tales. The song Hit the L is a really rowdy smoke anthem that sounds incredibly Rat King-ish. I Don't Need Much is a rapper rapping about, uh, I guess, living simply. Another unique sort of lyrical approach or topic on this project. And the other highlights on this project, they might not be as lyrically focused, but they might bring a really fantastic, overwhelming, dense kind of psychedelic beat or even a hook or some kind of flow that's incredibly catchy, like God Bless Me, which features Skepta. It's really cool to kind of see an East Coast hip hop artist creating this bridge between American hip hop artists and, and hip hop artists from the UK. There's even the song Sunday School Dropout, which has a killer instrumental from Harry Fraud. So those are the highlights on this thing. Of course, with so much material on this project, and it is a mixtape, some tracks are just not gonna hit that hard. But at their worst, the songs on this thing are just like directionless, stone-faced navel-gazing. Really underwhelming cuts that don't really add up to much. They just kind of sound like Wiki is, is spinning his heart out, but it's not really organized into anything that's all that memorable, kind of like on the song CD Motherfucker. Or Cherry Tree featuring Mikachu. Uh, her moaning chorus on this thing is is one of the toughest moments to sit through. And the title track here feels more like an extended interlude than it does uh, an actual song, though in a way when I look at the lyrics I kind of get why this project was titled after this track. It's one of the more personal songs in the track listing here, and Wiki is essentially revealing himself or painting himself as just kind of this regular guy who has nothing to hide and he's just 
him. There, there's no pretense. There are no airs that he's putting on. He's not trying to convince you that he's cool with this lavish lifestyle or anything like that. He's just your average scummy dude who just wants to make art and live for today. Which is a cool message, but only if it were organized into a compelling song or something like that. I think Wiki has a lot of great ideas on this tape, and it certainly seems like he, he struck way more gold on this than he did with Rat King on 700 Phil, but this project is similarly loose and unfinished and rough at some points. Wiki is undeniably talented, but sometimes his lack of ambition gets the better of him on at least a handful of these tracks. Enough songs to kind of weigh this project down at least a little. I'm feeling a light seven on this thing. Transition! Have you given this mixtape a listen? And if you have, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Wiki, forever!